This question is for Jeric Wayne Vertuda. Pasensya na, ngayon lang ulit na ako nakabalik sa YouTube dahil na busy sa board exam ng civil engineering. Okay? So, according to this, Coast Guard Station A is exactly 200 miles directly east of B. So, this is 200 miles. I will just presume that this is statute mile or one mile, one statute mile is 50 to 80 feet. In contrast to nautical mile, a nautical mile is approximately 60 to 80 feet. So this is big longer than this one. So I will just presume that the mile here is the 50 to 80 feet mile. So that when we have the velocity of the radio signal of 980 feet to convert that to mile, simply divide it by 50 to 80 feet per mile. So this is mile per microsecond. So that is your V. Okay? Now, according to this problem, huh? a ship is traveling or sailing on a line parallel to AB. If this is the path AB, so the ship is traveling along this line parallel here and directly north, 50 miles directly north of this path. So this is 50. Now, signals where radio signals are sent out from A and B. So it is being sent out. So and our ship will be able to identify his or its location based on the arrival of the two signals. Of course, the ship knows from where the signal is coming from. The, the two signals are distinct signals. Okay. So according to the problem, at 1 p.m., exactly 1 p.m., the signal from B reaches the ship 400 microseconds after the signal from A. Meaning, the signal from A arrived ahead 400 microse microseconds after that B signal from B arrived. So meaning, if the time for the signal from A to reach the ship is T, the time from for the signal to reach the ship from B is T plus 400 microsecond. What? Okay? So this is 400 plus a T plus 400 microsecond. From the formula S is VT, our SA, this one, is going to be the velocity 980 over... 50 to 80, so this is miles per microsecond times T in microsecond. While our SB here, S from B to here, is velocity times time, so this is 980 over 50 to 80 times the time, the time is T plus 400, that is this one. Okay, Whoa. so how are we going to do this knowing that this is 50? This is it. We know that this is 50. By Pythagorean theorem, this one is going to be equal to what? The square of this minus the square of this, right? So let me call this x1. Well, this one, let me call this x2. By Pythagorean theorem, this one is square of this minus the square of this. Right? So we have x1 plus x2 is 200 miles. But what is x1? I repeat, from this triangle, x1 is the square of this. That would be sb squared. No? So this is square root of 
SB squared minus 50 squared SB squared minus 50 squared is X1 plus X2 is SA squared minus 50 squared but what is SB? SB is this one 980 over 5280 times T plus 400 quantity squared. This is SB squared minus 50 squared. Now, plus SA is the square root of 980 over 5280 that is times T quantity squared that is SA squared minus 50 squared is equal to 200 so this is 200 so input this in your calculator take note this is one equation in terms of T input in your calculator shift solve you'll be able to get your T and this is 411.8 92. This is the time for signal A. While the time for signal B is simply T plus 400. This is 811.92. So identifying the distance now of our ship from B and A we will have here our SB is equal to 980 over 5280 times the time that is 811.92, this one. So you compute this and your SB is going to be 150.7 miles. While our SA is equal to velocity 980 over 5280 times the time 411.92 this is the time so computing this SA is going to be 76.45 miles so if you're interested with how much is is the position of this compared to B, then you need X1, okay? Which is simply square of this minus square of this. Do you follow? But as far as its distances from B and A are concerned, the distance at 1 p.m. upon receiving the signal from B is 150.7. I would like to emphasize though, that we neglected the distance traveled by the ship. Because if the ship is traveling in this direction, this distance is neglected. Let us say that I call this as S of the ship. Now, number one, why I did neglect it is because the velocity of the ship is not given, right? So meaning, the intention of the one who raised the question is that this is negligible. Let us say, for example, that the ship is traveling at, let us say, 20 knots. Meaning, 20 nautical miles per hour. Huh? So meaning, the S of the ship is the velocity 20 nautical miles. Nautical miles is... 60, 80 feet. So 20 knots. Nautical mile, which is 60, 80 feet per hour. Hour is 3,600 seconds. If you convert this to microsecond, one second is 10 to the 6 microsecond. So look at the velocity now. It would be 20 times 6080 divided by 3600 divided by 
10 to the 6. So this is 3.37 or 38 times 10 to the negative 5 meters or feet per microsecond. This is the velocity of the ship. Far from the 980 feet per microsecond. Right? So, the distance traveled by the ship in feet is this velocity 3.38 times 10 to the minus 5. That is feet. Convert to miles. So, divide by 52.80 feet. In order to in order to be compatible with the mile that I am using here. So multiplied by what? Huh? The time. The time gap from when it received the signal from A to the time when it received the signal from B. This is 400 microsecond. Right? So times 400. And this is? So this is... Look here, 2.55 times 10 to the minus 6 miles compared to what we are talking of here of 50 miles, 200 miles, 76 miles, 150 miles. This is 0 0.0000255. There are five zeros, 255 miles this is indeed negligible so we just take this approximate triangle anyway this is very very negligible or very very small you get it you follow